I will try in this video to see what's the difference between the ProRes and the normal 4K video. So I do have two iPhone, which in one of them I'm gonna shoot in normal mode, and on the other one I'm gonna shoot in ProRes. And after that we're gonna bring together everything we have on computer and edit them, put them side by side to see if actually there is a big difference, as people says, with the 13 Pro. Okay, and to be honest, I actually edited on Lumen Fusion on my iPad because I felt more convenient. So the difference between the normal version of the video and the ProRes is that the ProRes is actually a non-compressed video, which if you film one minute in ProRes, it's gonna be about six, seven, eight gigabytes compared to if you film one minute in a normal 4K, it's gonna be like a couple of hundred megabytes. But uh, being non-compressed, it's exactly like you compare in photography uh, the raw version of a file which you can uh, edit much much better rather than JPEG which is a final compressed file so the normal version is a file uh, is a final compressed but the ProRes is not so as you see in this video I may try try to make comparison side by side between the normal version of the 4k video and the ProRes with different different uh, color gradings and LEDs but uh, how can you use the ProRes and why do you have an option on your iPhone uh, ProRes? Uh, first, uh, let me say you can film on ProRes if you have 4K maximum on 30 frames per second. So you can't film in 60 frames per second on 4K. But what we have this ProRes in the first place? Uh, being non-compressed video files will, as I said, will allow you to edit much much better and it has a better quality of the video but uh, as you seen in these uh, clips which I made there's actually not much much difference but uh, when you do uh, videography better say filmmaking then you apply all kinds of loots and effects it's better to have the ProRes version so uh, now the main question is if you want to film something is it better to film in normal version or in ProRes version I'm gonna say with honesty in normal version because of the file size. On ProRes version, as I said, when you make cinematic videos, filmmaking, cinematography, and so on, in that case, yes, you can post-process a lot more than uh, the normal version. Making these comparisons, videos uh, side by side, there is absolutely very, very small difference, visible difference for a normal person, probably like you and me, unless you're planning to do something big some big projects, some big films with your iPhone, which is, I think is possible. But only in that case, I can say it's uh, it worth to film in progress, but not for anything else. So I'm gonna say now, thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you found your answer and you seen the difference between normal version and progress as I uh, filmed with uh, both of them with iPhone 13 Pro. Yeah. This is it. Thank you very much again for watching and if you found this video useful, please uh, subscribe to my channel to help me make more videos like this.